if we'll get this done in five minutes, but we'll start at some point, and we'll see if we get it into five minutes. The lulav. The lulav is made up of three things. We have the lulav, the palm branch, the willow branch, the myrtle branch, which I will show you shortly. Before I show you how to make a ring in 10 seconds. Now I have some rings ready, and I'm gonna show you how also how to make the ring each from your own stuff so that you can easily make it make it happen. I'm gonna show you the Chabad custom of how to make the lulav, and um, then I'll show you another way, which is with a palm holder, which is the other way of making the lulav, which is kosher, but not the Chabad custom. I'm gonna show you the Chabad custom of how to make a lulav in five minutes. Are you ready? Are you counting? Counting. Counting, awesome. Okay, here you go. So. If you have a lulav that's prepackaged like this, they're awesome because you know that they're steady. Always make sure you open up your lulav from the bottom, not from the top, because then you will ruin the point. So you pull it off from the bottom, I cut the bottom, you take it out. It has these, these straps to hold them in place. Always from the bottom, always from the bottom. Taking off the mesh, on the lulav itself, we put two rings. I need to have two rings. I'm gonna make rings from this lulav itself. Watch how we do this. From, this. from the bottom part, we take one from this side, and we're gonna take one from this side, and we're gonna take one more. But for the Chabad lulav, I need to have five rings. And each one makes two. And we're gonna make rings in 10 seconds. I'm only gonna make uh, three rings because the other rings that I had were too small. I need to have long, longer rings for the uh, binding of the branches itself. Feel free to ask any questions if you're watching. I'm happy to answer your questions live right here on this uh, broadcast. Hello, Linda. Hello, Kayla. Hello, Bernadine. Ask your questions, my friend. Throw your best one at me. Happy to answer your questions while I'm making us a love. The shame mitzvah us the love. We say it should be for the sake of making a lulav, not for the sake of anything else. Not for the sake of making mommy happy, not for the sake of making the husband happy, not for the sake of making the wifey happy. We're doing this for the sake of God, making a lulav. And it's best if you can to make the lulav inside the sukkah. That's why I'm standing inside our beautiful Chabad Lepton sukkah. We're gonna have over 70 people here tonight, tomorrow night, Friday night. Pick your choice, we still have a couple of spots. Um, and uh, we hope you can join us. Okay, here you go. Here we got the lulav. I made my three rings. I'm gonna put two rings. Oh my gosh, where did my other rings go? Okay, I'll, I'll make more rings. I had so much fun talking to you guys. I'll make more rings. I hope I'm not. Hey, no, hello, stop guy. The clock. Stop the clock, though. This doesn't count as part of my five minutes, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make now two more rings. And no questions from the crowd? Shua beer, what do you call a lulav that keeps growing and growing? Ertle the fertile myrtle. Ah, I love it. Thank you, Shua <laughs> beer. Shua, I want to see your lulav. Show me your lulav, man. Show me your lulav. Okay. So now we're going to, uh, oh, man, why isn't this going in? How's the weather up there, Shua? Okay. So now we have two lulavs. Now this is this brown part is the back of the lulav. This is the front of the lulav. When we talk about the back and the front, this is the front that's facing you when you're shaking the lulav. But for the sake of making a lulav, it's easiest to do it holding it backwards. Taking the brown part or the, the folded in part facing you so that you can hide the knots behind. These two rings that go on the lulav should be covered up by the hadas and the arava, by the myrtle and the willow that cover up the rings, so you should try your best to cover up for the one one ring should be covered up entirely, and the top ring should be covered up partially. Now you don't have to sit there with a measuring tape; you just get the general idea, and you just put it on. Oh my gosh, this is this ring is not working the way I wanted it to. Let's see. Ah, for my scissors. There it is. If you end up with a snag, it's too soft at the end. See, part of learning how to do a surgery, you have to know how to troubleshoot when you get when you snags. <laughs> Cut off the end, and then this comes harder. That end part is not that soft. Then you can stick it through with that with ease. See? Okay. Hello, Rich. Hello, Yussi. And so, Rich, I did this for you. You asked for how to make a lulav in five minutes, and you got it. Okay. Rich, rich Bond. Yeah, that's right. 
And so uh, now I'm, I'm locking it in like I showed in my video of how to make rings in 10 minutes in, in 10 seconds. I'm locking the ring so it stays in place and I'm gonna cut off the excess. I'm gonna do one more little of one more ring on here so that should be partially covered at the top of the willow and the myrtle. Now if you don't have your own set, you're welcome to come by Chabad of Uptown and we will help you shake your lulav because you got to shake it. You got to shake it on sukkah so you got to do the mitzvah because it says in the Torah, well, take it to yourself. I'm locking my second ring and here we go. Now the lulav is ready to go. We're ready. Now that this is prepared, we got two rings on the lulav itself. We're now going to put the myrtle and the willows on both sides of them. So here I got my package of myrtle and willow. Take the same method. You want to take it out of the bottom. You cut off the bottom of the plastic and take it out back this way. Maybe we'll take off on the top and you start tearing the leaves off and that's no good. You want the leaves to stay on. Here I got my three myrtle. That's the minimum to put on your lulav. That's called hamarba hareh mishlach. But adds, that's awesome. And so it's also the, the willow and it should try to be shorter than the myrtle. Here it is. If it wouldn't be, I would cut off a little bit from the bottom so that it's shorter. Never from the top. The top is the most important. Now in Chabad custom, some people put three on one, three myrtle on one side and the two willows on the other side. In Chabad custom, we mix it up. Two on the right of myrtle and one willow, one on the left of myrtle and one willow. And if you add more myrtle, you put more myrtle on the right side than the left side. And so, since I'm holding this backwards, that's the way I'm going to bind it. So I need to put, this is going to be on the right side when the lulav is facing me. So when, I, when the lulav is facing me, I'm putting it on the right side. So when I'm going to bind it, I'm going to bind it backwards. I'm going to put this on the left and this on the right, and then lay it down like that. Like this, when I'll turn it over, there'll be more myrtle on the right than the left. And similarly, if you do myrtle on right and, myrtle and willow on left, you, you do the same thing. And now, we're, how do you put it on? That's a great question. We're now going to put three rings on the bottom. The three rings on the bottom should be all within a tefach, with all within one hand breadth on the bottom. So the way I like to do it is, I put all three on the bottom first, just in place. This way I know exactly where it's going to go, and I can always like adjust it. And I tighten it one by one. Make sure I have them all where I need them to be. Make sure the lulav is in a perfect spot before I lock it and tie it in place. You pull it as tight as you can without shaking up your lulav because you don't want it to break apart. You always, when you're doing it, you gotta watch your point. See, I almost smashed it against that chair, and that was not good. You gotta watch your point. Make sure you don't smash the point, and then you 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 put it around and around. Oh, I gotta man, these these tips are too soft. Okay, and put it around and around until you can lock it with the last part. That's ring number one. Locked. Ring number two. And this is how, my friends, how you're going to get your lulav all ready to roll. Rock and roll. Now the lulav represents three kinds of branches. And that's why, since it's three of the four are on the lulav, we hold the lulav in the right hand because it's the majority of the four. And so the lulav goes in the right hand. And the esrog, after you... You make the bracha, you take it in your left hand. On the first day, you take it in your left hand and you make a shehecheyanu. Thanking God for reaching this monumental day. And so here now we're going to lock up the third ring. It's locked in place. Now these bad boys will stay in place the entire sukkah. They are so perfect. And then we're going to go in and cut off the, t the edge, the extras. And there you go. That's how you make a lulav. Was it a five minutes? Yeah. Exactly. Less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Awesome. Now let me talk about packaging. Let me talk about packaging. Many people do all these kinds of tricks. I'm going to tell you what's been tried and proven. What I believe works best. It'll last from today till the end of Sukkot. You want to get yourself a nice piece of heavy duty silver foil. This silver foil can be changed throughout Sukkot, which is good. Which is fine. That was a little bit too big. But you put it, you put it down like this, and you don't want to overwater it. Then it gets moldy and disgusting. Just irrigate it. Just irrigate it. 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 Give it some nice moist. Just like you're doing the supermarket with your vegetables. This is just the same. The main thing is to make sure.
sure the bottom gets sealed and the top gets sealed. You don't want to do it too tight. I fold it over and I roll it up like this. And I lock it on top and bottom. And then leave it alone. Don't put it in the fridge. Don't leave it outside. Leave it in a nice, cool, air-conditioned spot indoors. And you'll be golden. And then I need my sleeve. My sleeve. Oh, no. Come, come follow me. I'll get my sleeve. That was pretty rich. Sleeve. Well, it, it is the best way to keep Keep it fresh for all the soap. There, there you go, I Rich. I told you, that's how you do it. Keep it in the soap foil. Forget about the paper towels and all these other shtick. Besides for being a problem and yumptive of that you're expressing water out of the paper towels, which may be a problem and all the other things, just leave it alone. Put it in here. You just let it slide down. Nice, let's nice see if it easy. goes. Nice and easy. And that's it. There you got your Lulu. And you got your Lulu, you got your Esther. The Lulu goes in right hand, Esther goes in left hand. You shake it up, man. Face east, face Jerusalem. And I'll see you next year in Jerusalem. And that, my friend, is how you make a little of in five minutes like a boss. Over and out.